Hey guys, we are here at our headquarters in San Diego and today I'm going to show you how to install a Bixby J2 motor to pretty much any paddleboard on the market that has a removable center fin. So we have three of the most common fins here just to show you guys how that works and I'll walk you through that. We have a fin that's most commonly found on uh, inflatable paddleboards. We call this a slide and lock fin and we have an adapter for that. And if you notice, it's exactly the same shape and size as that with the key that will lock that into your fin box. Then we've got the flip and lock uh, fins that are found on iRocker paddleboards and IELTS paddleboards as well, uh, and some other inflatable paddleboards. And the mechanism with this is these two big knobs go in there and that V shape gets locked into the back of your fin box. And then we have the US fin box, which is most commonly found on hardboards and some of the inflatables as well. And this uses the dowel pin in the back and the, the nut and bolt in the front to lock into your fin box. And again, we have the adapter for that. So when you order your J2 um, outboard kit, you will choose, if you're putting it on a paddleboard or an inflatable, you will choose which of these adapters you are, you're purchasing with your kit and that'll ship with your kit. Now I'm gonna show you how these get installed onto the different fin boxes and then how they get installed onto the motor as well. So your slide and lock would be very simple. Just slide it in the same way you do with your fin and lock it into place, okay? Your flip and lock, same as your fin, goes in there and it gets locked down. And your US fin box is also very simple. It's in there like that, just like you would do with your fin. You adjust your nut there. Now you do with this fin box, depending on how big your uh, fin box is, it, you do get some adjustability. You know, you can move this back and forth so you can have the motor further up or you can have it further out. Uh, the further out you have, the, 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 more, the better your steering will be essentially. Um, the further in you have, the more stability you'll have. Um, so I'm gonna take one of these fins out and I'm gonna show you guys how you put this on your J2 uh, motor and how simple that is. There is our fin. So when you get your J2 kit, it comes in a box like this, and that includes your battery, your motor, your charger, kill switch, and remote. You open up, you have your quick start guide. Please read your quick start guide. Lots of good information in there. There is your PP, um, either 333 or 378, depending on what you ordered. Uh, that's your battery, you got your charger, you got your motor with the, with the adapter and the cabling on there, your remote, your kill switch and an Allen key to open and uh, clean the back of your motor if you ever need to do that. Under your um, remote, you'll find some nuts and bolts to secure your motor to the different adapters we have and a little bit of dielectric grease for putting on your battery connectors uh, just to prevent corrosion uh, down the road. Okay, so we're gonna take our nuts and bolts and we're gonna take our motor as it comes in the package. And we have our flip and lock adapter here we're gonna put on our motor. Uh, you can put it on either side of the cable. It doesn't really matter. It's just a preference and you, whether you decide to run the cable on the side or on the back, that you know, may be a consideration. Uh, you always want the back of the fin, which is pointing to the back of your paddleboard, to point to the shroud of the motor. So in this case, we want that V-shaped groove to be pointing to the back of the motor. We slide our fin in here. Take some of our nuts and bolts. Oops, there goes my bag. Now we wanna make sure these uh, nuts and bolts are tight, but not overly tight. So we definitely don't wanna use an impact driver or any electrical uh, um, tools to do this. Uh, we just wanna hand tighten these. And all you need in terms of tools are just a simple Phillips screwdriver and any sort of a adjustable wrench or a seven millimeter um, socket wrench if you wanna hold uh, the cap nuts in the back. So here we go, we have four cap nuts that go onto those adapters. Okay, and all we do is simply hold these in the back and just give them a good tightening so they're nice and tight. There's another one. Okay. 
kick. That is all you need to do. Now you have your fin adapter attached to your motor. Put your fin adapter into the fin box the same way you would put your fin into your fin box. Push down, lock into place, you're done. Now you can choose to run your wire to the back of the paddleboard and onto the surface to your battery or to the side onto the top and to your battery. And you can use your, the bungees that come on your paddleboard to bungee your, your battery down. That's it, that's the end of the installation. Now I'm gonna do, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna do the installation on the two other fins as well. So that'll run in the loop right um, into the same video. Okay guys, so that's it. That's, we just installed the Bixby J2 motor on three different paddle boards essentially. So there is our flip and lock, there is our uh, slide and lock, and there's our US fin box. Um, before we turn this over and I show you how to plug this into the battery, I do want to point out one other thing. If you have an inflatable watercraft or uh, a paddle board that doesn't have a removable uh, fin, uh, we do sell this slide and lock fin box as a product by itself. So this is just sort of double side taped on here, but we do sell this and you can purchase this and you can glue it to your paddleboard. Uh, typically you'd glue it in front of your uh, uh, non-removable fin box, but you can use this to motorize uh, pretty much any inflatable or any PVC material, um, paddleboard, inflatable, uh, dinghies, all kinds of stuff uh, that you can use the, the fin box on to motorize. So that is the one thing to remember. Uh, now we're gonna flip this uh, paddleboard over and we're gonna show you how to put the battery onto your motor and onto your paddleboard. So here we go. So guys, we have our motor now on our US fin box sitting on the paddleboard and we have our battery that you're gonna bring over and put on top of your paddleboard. Now I'm not doing this here, but there is a bungee system on this particular paddleboard and on many paddleboards. So the best thing is to bungee your battery onto your paddleboard, right? The, the battery is uh, buoyant and if you do fall over, it will, um, it will float and it is waterproof obviously, but you don't want it falling over because it is gonna drag and it's, you know, there's potential for damage to your paddleboard or to the battery or motor. So you do wanna bungee your, uh, your battery to, the, to your uh, paddleboard. Now you've got your battery here. You've got your wire coming out of your um, motor coming up here. I, I like running it through one of these uh, ropes uh, if, you, if you can, if you have other uh, ways to sort of secure the wire, that's even better. Um, but um, the installation is quite simple. You've got a five pin connector on your battery that you have on your connector. You wanna line up those pins and you wanna line up those two little tabs on your blue connector nut. And once you plug it in, and if they're lined up, you turn this 175 degrees the first couple of matings are gonna be a little bit tougher because the nut is getting broken in, but don't use a force and do not use tools, please. Hand tightening only, otherwise you will break that nut. And that's it, you're done. Now you've got your kill switch. Your kill switch is gonna come up and sit on top there and you'll see your LEDs light up indicating how much battery you've got left. Each bar is about 17% of your battery life and it'll go down as you start running out of battery. Your remote, when it ships, is going to be synced to your battery. If it's not synced to your battery, you can sync it to your battery using the sequence that's on your quick user guide. So it's three stops, forward, reverse, stop, and it will sync to your battery. Okay, and you'll hear it beep once it's synced. Okay, now we're done. We're set. 
You're going to want to put this kill, uh, kill leash on your legs or on your life vest. So if you do fall off, it cuts off and the motor stops. So your paddleboard doesn't keep going down the lake or ocean. And you can wear this on your wrist or on your paddle. We're going to test it at speed one just to get it going. And you'll hear your motor running. You don't want to run the motor at higher speeds in air because it does need water to cool it. Uh, but that's it guys, that's as simple as it is to get a big speed J2 motor on your paddleboard regardless of what kind of fin box you've got. And we're done for the day. Thanks for watching.